Hello YouTube. I find archaeology of Eurasia to be a fascinating subject because sometimes you don't know what you can excavate. Here's a good example. In 1968, a 2100-year-old clay human head belonging to the Targaryen culture was found in Shestakov Mound No. 6 in southern Siberia, in Russia. Almost four decades later, an X-ray examination of the head revealed that there was a ram's skull hidden deep inside. The staff of the Institute of Archaeology and Ethnography and the Institute of Nuclear Physics of the Siberian branch of the Russian Academy of Sciences joining forces were able to look inside the clay sculptural image of a head made by a representative of the Targaryen culture, and they estimate 2,100 years ago. The result of the study was unexpected. The bones of the skull were found inside, again, not human, but those of a ram. The Kurgan, or Mound Complex, near the village of Shestakova, began to be excavated in the 1950s. And burials of the Targaryen archaeological culture, widespread in the 8th to 11th century BC, from 8th to the 2nd century BC in Hakassia, in the northeast of the Kemerova region, and the south of the Krasnoyarsk territory, they were found there. It is assumed that the representatives of this culture were native speakers of the Indo-European family. Studies by archaeologists and geneticists show that the Targaryens were related to the representatives of the Afanasyev and the Pazeri cultures, as well as to the Scythians of the northern Black Sea region. The Targaryens were engaged in cattle breeding and agriculture. Millet and barley were grown. They mined copper, made bronze products and woolen fabrics, built irrigation canals up to 20 kilometers long and impressive burial complexes. Initially, the earthen mounds surrounded by vertically installed stone slabs were intended for the burials of the elite and each mound contained the burials of one or two people. Since the 5th century BC, that tradition has changed. The Targaryen mounds have become larger, up to 30 meters in height and more than 40 meters in diameter. And many people were buried in burial chambers. In one of the Targaryen burial mounds on the White Mountain, the remains of at least 200 buried people were found. Clay heads in burials appear in the very late stage of the Targaryen culture, um, around the 2nd to 1st centuries BC. A specialist in the archaeology of southern Siberia, Elga Vadetskaya, in the monograph titled Ancient Masks of the Yenisei in 2009, reconstructed the funeral rite of that era, suggesting that secondary burial was practiced then. First, the body of the deceased was placed in a stone coffin and buried in a shallow grave or under a pile of stones. And after a few years, it was removed and the skeleton with the remains of soft tissues was wrapped in hay, clothes, and bark to make a semblance of a human figure. The skull was smeared with clay and sculptural image of the face was made. The external features were idealized and apparently did not reflect the real appearance of the deceased. A layer of plaster was applied over the clay and then the head was painted. Perhaps the painting of the clay heads reflected the deceased belonging to one or another family. Well, in 1968, archaeologists led by Professor Anatoly Martinov discovered a painted clay image of a human head in the Shestakov Kurgan on Mount Number no. 6. It was assumed that, as in other cases, there is a human skull inside the clay head. 
examination of it with the help of an X-ray machine of that time allowed scientists to establish that there are bones inside, but the size of the internal cavity is smaller than would have been expected for a normal human skull. No other details could be found out. For several decades, the inside of the head remained inaccessible to researchers because they could not destroy the ancient artifact. Now that this has become possible, thanks to X-ray analysis using fluoroscopy, scientists have discovered that there is a sheep's skull inside a clay human head. Natalia Polosmyak, one of the project managers, a talented Russian scientist, very well educated with great insight. She was the chief researcher at the Institute of Archaeology and Ethnography of the Siberian branch of the Russian Academy of Sciences. She considers two hypotheses possible to explain such a discovery. Perhaps a missing person was buried in this way. His body turned out to be inaccessible, and the relatives performed the necessary funeral rites with the help of an animal double. Another, according to another assumption, in this case, the researchers encountered a false burial, which was carried out in order to give a person to a chance to start to start life anew. Very interesting, and there is much more from Natalia Polaznak that I want to bring in the future. Uh, her great insights into. Uh, ancient Greeks and Romans in Eurasia, for example, in China, and much more. But that will be in the future. As for Hakassia, it is a land of many paranormal phenomena. Besides its archaeological cornucopia, some I have described before, for example, the strange caves and phantoms, and you can find them in my channel, and more will be described in the future. So I find archaeology altogether to be a fascinating field of research, but more attention, I urge you to pay, it, for example, to uh, Eurasia, to the areas of Mongolia, Siberia, China, and of course, outside of that, Africa, but that's my interest because I've done some work there as well. So if you can support my research, please do so. You will find um, the ways to do it um, to PayPal and so forth in the description to this channel. And please tell others and uh, please like my videos. And again, thank you for your attention.